What does the Bible say about prayer? Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with the thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you have already received it, and it will be yours. If you abide in me, and my words abide in you, ask whatever you wish, and it will be done for you. But when you pray, go into your room and shut the door and pray to your Father who is in secret. And your Father who sees in secret will reward you. And I tell you, ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and will be open to you. Call to me and I will answer you and will tell you great and hidden things that you have not known. Watch and pray that you may not enter into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Pray then like this, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. If my people who are called by my name humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sins and heal their land. Again, I say to you, if two of you agree on earth about anything they ask, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. For where two or three are gathered in my name, there I am among them. rising very early in the morning while it was still dark he departed and went out to a desolate place and there he prayed
and whatever we ask, we receive from him, because we keep his commandments and do what pleases him. And I tell you, ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receive, and one who seeks finds, and one who knocks it will be opened. What father among you, if his son asks for fish, will instead of fish give him a serpent? Or if he asks for an egg, will give him a scorpion? If you then, who are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will the Heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask Him? But your iniquities have made a separation between you and your God, and your sins have hidden His face from you, so that He does not hear. We know that God does not listen to the sinners, but if anyone is a worshiper of God and does his will, God listens to him. that day you will ask nothing of me. Truly, truly, I say to you, whatever you ask of the Father in my name, he will give to you. Until now, you have asked nothing in my name. Ask, and you will receive, that your joy may be full. You desire and do not have, so you murder. You covet and cannot obtain, so you fight and quarrel. You do not have because you do not ask. But stay awake at all times, praying that you may have the strength to escape all these things that are going to take place and stand before the Son of Man. I cried to him with my mouth, and high praise was on my tongue. And I will put this third into the fire, and refine them as one refined silver, and test them as gold is tested. Then they will call upon my name and I will answer them. I will say, they are my people, and they will say, the Lord is my God. For the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous, and his ears are open to their prayers. But the face of the Lord is against those who do evil.